Hey, this is Orion's Angel, and this is a tutorial to show you how to add my bezels to RetroArch. So, first of all, you're going to ha obviously have to get one of my bezels right here, which have been unzipped. So, for example, here's Snapjack, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it here in RetroArch in overlays you can put them anywhere you want so I'm gonna paste it here in this folder I made called MAME now I have snapjack in here now I'm gonna take one of these config files doesn't matter which one I'm gonna copy it paste it I'm gonna take the copy and I'm gonna rename it snapjack Then I'm gonna open it and here as well I'm gonna rename it snapjack I'm going to save it, and that's it. Your bezel, my bezel is ready to be on RetroArch. That's all you have to do. Nothing else. Now I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Snapjack, and I'm going to associate this obviously with uh, RetroArch. Now I'm going to open it up in RetroArch. Now obviously that's not the bezel, so we're going to hit F1 and we're going to go to on-screen display, on-screen overlay, and we're going to pick the bezel. I know I put it in MAME, so now I'm going to open up Snapjack. Now I hit F1 again, see, there it is. Now we have to adjust the video. So we're going to go to video. Now this part takes really long. So first of all, we're obviously we're going to have to adjust the width of the file. Now I'm going to speed up the video for this part, but the idea here is we're going to adjust the video so it fits center on the screen like it's supposed to for this particular bezel. So here we go. Now this is a slow and tedious process. I don't like doing it. It takes really long. You know how it is if you've done it before. Now this is a part of RetroArch I wish they would update. First of all, I would like for these, for example, the custom aspect ratio and the custom aspect ratio with all that stuff. I want it to go faster. See, look how slow this is. Look how slow the numbers go. This takes really long. And the other thing I would like them to do is that you could be able to see the bezel in the background. I can only see the screen, so I don't know. I have to keep going back and forth to F1, back and forth to see. If I could see the bezel and see the screen outlined, I would know where to put it. That's another thing that needs to be updated in RetroArch, just given my two cents here. But anyway, I gotta fix the screen because it's tilted. So. I'm going to go to shaders, quick menu, and I'm going to go to shader parameters, and here's where you can tilt the screen. So that's now centered and not tilted anymore. Here you can affect the curvature. If you want it to be more like a uh, oval screen. A nice thing you can do here also is uh, make it sharper. And go back there. I'm going to save for now. I'm going to save game preset. Save the current shader settings as a default setting for this content only. That means it's only going to save the shader settings for this particular game so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna go back I still have to adjust the screen more so now let me check how it is now I still have to go more
Okay, that looks good. Now we need the bottom. So we can do the height. Let's see. It's annoying to have to constantly press F1 just because I can't see the outline of the screen. there this is long and tedious not fun one thing I will say though it looks a lot better than MAME the screen does okay there now I think I have to move it a little bit to the left I could stretch it out a little bit more if I want. Okay, that looks good. I like it. Okay, once we got that, now we're going to go back to Quick Menu and we're going to go to Overrides and you're gonna to wanna to go all the way to the bottom. This is important, you're gonna to wanna to save this. If you don't do this, it won't save all that long, you know, setup you did. So this'll save it, but just for this content, only for this game. There, that's it. Now we're gonna get out of here. Now when I click on Snapjack again, it should open up with all the settings that I left it. And there we go. Now, I've also done this with Ladybug. I think this screen might be the wait might be tilted a little I think yes it was oh there we go now as you can see I'm using the CRT uh, Guillaume um, shader, shader parameters, uh, where you can put all the settings and I setting that just showed you and I'm going to override this because I just changed the screen. There we go. Nice. Let's check it again. Awesome. Let's add another one. Uh, I'm going to add uh, Qbert this time. We'll do a vertical game. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to paste it here. Take any one of these, copy it. Really easy. Rename it Qbert. Open it up. Rename it Qbert. Save. That's it. Qbert's ready. Now I'm going to find Qbert here. Qbert. Where is Qbert? Oh, there's Qbert. And I'm going to associate it with uh, RetroArch. open it up and what's going on my screens all messed up no <laughs> alright let's go back to the shader 
And yes, this is how I did the tilted screen. Obviously, you've noticed by now. So, yeah, this is the tilted screen. Awesome thing, feature this thing has. I love this thing. All right. And of course, sharpening the screen is one of my favorite things you can do with this. This looks awesome. That's one of the things I don't like about MAME too, the games look all blurry. It also looks more colorful, the, the actual game screen. But now I have to, oh, I almost forgot what I was gonna do. Okay, we have to go back to the screen display, get rid of this one, go into MAME, open up Qbert, there we go. Qbert! I love the way this bezel came out, it looks awesome. So now we have to adjust the screen again and this will take a long time again. I'm going to speed it up the process. So. Okay, I should mention that aspect ratio should be on custom, remember that. Also integer scale has to be turned off or else you won't be able to affect the custom aspect ratio and the, you know, you won't be able to use that. So, this is tedious, man. Uh, I'm gonna move this over. You can see how slow this is. They really need to update this. I want to be able to move this much faster. I'm, I'm way ahead of this thing. I just want to quickly set the screen up really fast, but it's really slow. I don't think anyone that makes RetroArch will watch this, but if you are, please update this and please let us see the bezel so we know where the screen has to go and I don't have to keep pressing F1. Okay. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I do appreciate all the work you guys do. I mean, RetroArch is amazing, so let me move this down. Oh man, I'm still far off. Gotta make the screen even thinner. I don't know how this screen is going to fit here. I mean, if it's going to look right. That looks good. I got to move it down. Got to move it up. Got to move it down. That looks good. Man, the games look so much better on Retro R. Looks good, right? Okay. Now, gotta remember that you have to go to shaders and save. Last one, you gotta do this. And you gotta go to overrides. And then you gotta go to save game override, the last one, third one, and that's it, you're set. Now we're gonna see if it worked. Yes, it worked, nice, very nice. Can you imagine now that I have to do this for every single one of my vessels? <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna take a really long time, but I think it's worth it because I prefer my bezels run like this because uh, I have problems with MAME and LaunchBox running right. This would be much easier. Alright, awesome. So, there you go. 
that's how you add my bezels onto Retroarch. I hope it helps some of you guys. Uh, thanks for watching my videos and all your support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.